it's an honor to have this conversation with you today because we are huge fans of, of your work. The, the cinema has changed from my standpoint very much in the last 30 years because streaming has become so successful and the cinemas and the DVD stroke video TV side not delivering money for independent cinema, which makes it very difficult on the chain of distribution companies, cinemas for art house or specialized films like mine. And it's uh, very difficult. I'm still making independent films in the way that I did, which is where the producer has a role in choosing the material and forming the material with the cast and the creativity. But now, in the streaming area, a producer is more a manufacturer than being the, the person who's behind the whole project with their money, with their support, with their push, with their whatever creativity is allowed into the film with the partner director. That sort of cinema now, I think, is quite reduced. But in that place, there's come many other things. And... It's the same idea that you use a camera and a, a screenplay and sound and a skill or various skills, but that whole side has changed it, 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 for me, especially in um, it, less, I suppose year 2000 for me is the date it changed pretty much. It was the last time you could really raise the money from the people who were going to have the film which was the distributors, good distributors worldwide. Now that is a model that is challenged for people like me. Uh, do you think that in the future people will continue going to the cinemas? Well, I, I, I believe they will continue going to see the cinemas, see films in the cinemas, because mm -hmm. it's the best place to see films. And you can watch, you can see paintings in a gallery, in yeah. a book. Or in a gallery, and is and, there? You know, and there are enough people. I think who still want to see films, but not in the numbers that it was. Mm. I don't think it'll ever come back to where it was. And I think cinema will be reduced. But it, I'm still optimistic for cinema as a means of exhibition of work. And I think people will still go and see them in a specialized sense because I've just done it with my film EO. Yeah. So that's just <coughs> got big audiences from France and America, <coughs> which is incredible in the cinema. And so that is a surprise. You know, it's not normal, but that film caught the imagination of people, and they wanted to see it in the cinemas before it went into um, streaming. And but it wasn't hit anyway. Th it's a reality. We have to accept the reality. But that's the way it is now for people want to consume. And um, I wouldn't have been adapting, trying to adapt. But it's challenging for a, because my, um, as you can see from the films that I've made over the years, there's an element of my taste in that. I've chosen mm -hmm. the films to make. And uh, as soon as at the beginning, I was choosing a bit, but I wasn't so strong. And then as my career went on, I, I, I chose very much strongly. And um, that has been um, something which I think is still a challenge now for me to do it like that. But I, I will continue as long as it's, it, there are enough people to support it. But everybody will have to think about films in another way. And of course, new generations who were growing up who didn't learn the tricks um, that I learned will be making films in other ways. And um, it's very healthy. There's a lot of films being made and a lot of filming in, in what way exactly can filmmakers adapt their their work in order to let's say compete with uh, these alternatives and try to bring well, more they have people? to be part of it they have to be part of it i mean there there is um, i suppose if you think that sound the cinema from sound mm -hmm. to now is like a hundred years and then the cinema is moved on with digital technology to being what it is now. And uh, it's something that is unassailable. Um, and the new generations of people have to adapt and find their resources 
from where the films are being shown because they can't find their resources out of the cinema. We already decided that. Okay. So in the 20 years ago, you would hope to get money out of the cinema release as a producer, financier. Then you'd hope to get money out of DVD, enormous amount of money out of DVD if the film was a hit, and then out of television. All those three markets are dead. Few DVDs are sold in special editions. And then the cinema release, which is normally one week, is a lost leader to get promotion and publicity for the streaming. Then you've got the streaming, which is worldwide. And what is it, and it's dominating? But what is going to happen? Like in every business, there's always a, a, site, a place for an independently spirited and counterculture or different taste sites like movie, like there must be something in Spain, like the Curzon Group in England, like Criterion in, Sp in America. They're curated with people who know about high quality, whether it be called cinema or films, films. So films are now being premiered on, 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 on movie or maybe they go to festival and then they go to movie. And with maybe a little cinema release and that's what's happening. I mean, that's that's, that's the, the idea. And in the middle of that, everybody has to try and find an economic model that works. Which I try and do with my past experience, but not my future experience. A lot of people will be working with the future experience. I'm thinking, you know, I want to be a futurologist, but it's difficult for me. <laughs>